Listen, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I, I don't know who you are, but what I keep getting are little signals that there is somebody who is victimizing you with attitude, with foul treatment, with, with degrading words, lies, accusations, argumentative, I mean, just strife, all kind of mess, messy mess, just constantly stirring the pot with you. Somebody's got an issue with you. Now, I don't know who you are, but that's the impression I'm getting from the notes God is, the thoughts God is giving me. And I want to share something with you, baby. Listen. It does not have anything to do with what you're doing wrong. It has nothing to do with what's wrong with you. Listen, join the human race, baby. Everybody's got something wrong with them. But God, thank God for Jesus Christ. That's the difference. So when everything in you seems to be falling apart, failing, messing up, screwing up, whatever you want to call it, Jesus, Jesus makes all the difference. Listen. The Bible says his strength is made perfect in your weakness. So all you have to do is depend on him and glory, baby. Because God knows how to bring beauty, beauty now, beauty out of ashes, Isaiah 61. You give him your ashes, he'll give you his beauty. Make you come out smelling like a rose. In spite of all your imperfections, which may not have gone anywhere. But people don't always see that. They see the beauty that God has anointed you with. That God has imparted into your character, into your demeanor. Oh, <laughs> into your countenance. Listen, God is for you. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, God is for you. And the Bible says, if God is for you, baby cakes, who can be against you? Uh, Pat's two cents added the baby cakes. That's not in the Bible. Who can be against you? Read Psalms 27. I'll read it on the next video. Listen. Stop taking this stuff to heart. It is an attack from Satan to pull you down emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and make you close down and isolate yourself from everybody, even those who really love you. Let me share. I have been in situations where who I'm feeling this. I don't know who you are, but somebody is out there hurting big time. Listen, I have been in, oh, I'm still feeling it. I have been in situations where I did something for the Lord or did something, whatever it was. And everybody is like, oh, girl, that was beautiful. That was amazing. Oh, blah, 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 blah. But I always doubt myself in certain areas. So I'm, I'm taking their compliments lightly. I appreciate it because I know they love me and they're pulling for me. But I'm still not sure how well I really did. And one person, one person will criticize it or make a snide remark. Now this was years ago. doesn't happen to me now as much because God delivered me from rejection, the root of rejection. But when I was still loaded with a, a bundle of scars, emotional scars, little things like that could just ruin my week, my month. And I'd feel embarrassed, humiliated. Now, one person might say something or make very, very little of what I did. 
as if everyone else really was lying, you know. <laughs> you don't get happy, girlfriend. It wasn't all that. I mean, they may not say that, but they would do it like that. Because there are some people who are, they consider themselves ego police. They have to go around and make sure you don't get the big head. None of their business, but they, I don't care how marvelous you they think you are, they would never dare tell you because you might get conceited and they cannot have that. They have, they have to walk around with their proverbial pin to bust your bubble. That is their assignment in life. Keep you in line. And everybody else, they feel like they must keep in line. So you can sit there and have your feelings hurt because of something they said, something they didn't say, the way they said it. And you feel like you didn't do anything. You feel like all your efforts amounted to nothing. Because of one negative. Don't buy into that baby. Don't do it. You listen to the people that are encouraging you. The person that is not, that refuses to, baby, they have their own issues. You leave them up to God. Act like they don't even exist when it comes to their little commentary that probably you didn't even ask for in the first place. There are some parents that some of you try to please. You do everything. That's how you become overachievers because that's a scar. That's a mark in your soul, a hole in your soul, and you walk around trying to fill it with accomplishments, accomplishments, doing great, doing wonderful, being marvelous, being the best. And that parent will never be happy because that parent is miserable and it has nothing to do with you. They're so miserable they can't afford to let you be happy. They can't afford to give you a feeling of accomplishment because you know, it'll make them look or feel smaller. I'm telling you, you cannot gauge yourself. You cannot measure yourself against others. You cannot uh, grade yourself by other people's opinions of you. The only opinion that counts is God's. And when you feel the way you're feeling right now, you get with that Bible and you take time. I used to have to do this all the time because the body of Christ can be cruel. They really can be cruel. You go and you be with God and you ask him to lead you to scripture and share with you what he thinks, what his take on you is, then you hold your head up high. That's what you do. You hold your head up high. Mm -hmm. Because when God says, it's good. Can't no turkey in the world go against that word. I don't care what they do. They can't negate it. They can't erase it. Be encouraged. You're trying. Don't try to please people. Only try to please God. He's the only one that counts. And remember, you can't win brownie points with him. He already loves you. As if you are the symbol of perfection. Because his love is perfect. God is love. I hope that encourages you. If you only knew who you had on your side. You would not fret what little silly people. What small minded people. Jealous people. And, and insecure people think about you or say about you. You wouldn't even worry about it. You would be like poor thing. <laughs> they really have problems but that's personal it ain't got nothing to do with me hold your head up high God is for you God bless you